Hello. I'm uh, Francis Lively. I'm the chair of the conference. I'm also the CEO of the LCP Group. We uh, invest in hotels and net lease. We actually just opened a new hotel here in New Haven yesterday, the Cambria. So if you're ever in town, stay there next time. Um, I was thinking today, after my shameless plug, what, what to say coming out of COVID. Um, and had two perspectives come to mind. Um, one is pre-COVID, I always said have a plan. Now I say have a plan and prepare that nothing will go according to plan. And uh, that was certainly the case the last two years as a hotel owner and operator. Um, and that's been the case for a lot of us on the committee that organizes this conference. Um, this is my sixth. I started in 2015. We've been away for two years, so we're very glad to be back. Um, as you can see, we typically fill this auditorium and have 225 to 250 registrants. And as with many conferences um, that I've attended in the last two years, and, and this one we probably had about 50% of that register today that will come in. So um, we're rebuilding again, but um, it certainly still takes the same amount of work and the same planning, and I want to acknowledge a few people. Um, obviously, the Yale International Center for Finance, uh, who helps us coordinate and host this conference, um, and my fellow committee members, uh, some of whom are here, Alison Bowen, who heads up the Yale area uh, group up there in the back, uh, Cab Grayson, Sherry santos Weiss, and Kevin Gray, who are instrumental in helping to organize panels. And then, uh, most of all, a little round of applause for my colleague, Pornina, Pornima Vupaluri, who's right back there. Um, I don't really do anything. I just show up and get told where to go. And Pornima really organizes everything, including the event last night and the speaker dinner and all the panelists and, and today. Um, second idea that came to mind and certainly something I think we all learned in the last two years is, um, or at least I, I'm a firm believer in this, the human spirit requires human connection. and. Um, what I was thinking about that was an in-person connection um, sort of tied into today is in real estate, you know, we invest in, create, and design the space that facilitates that human connection. And I never really looked at my career in that way, but it's, I think it's a kind of cool way to look at things. And um, I'm certainly even in a smaller intimate affair, very glad to be back in person and looking forward to hearing everybody's perspectives today on the last two years, the projects they're working on, and you know, what they're seeing uh, in their crystal ball and you know, some further uncertain times ahead. Um, and then lastly, before we begin, there is one human spirit I wanted to acknowledge, which was, um, John Nelson, who was a Yale grad, a fellow uh, committee member, um, he passed away uh, in between our last conference and, and this conference after a long battle with cancer. And John was instrumental in two of the two, last two, last three conferences in helping to organize panels. He really embodied Yale SOM's mission he was a, a leader in business and society. And um, most importantly, you'd be shocked to hear that, um, even though I don't do anything to organize this conference, Pornima does it all, um, there are challenges. And um, John, as a committee member, always laughed and always made everyone laugh. And so today, to honor him, um, I hope we can all have some laughs and have some fun. Um, and with that said, I will introduce our first panel and our first moderator, 